Hi, Phil Pilkey. It's week five of the COVID-19 quarantine. We just announced five more weeks. And it's getting scary. Okay, now that you've got your panel out of the box, set up on the stand, the next thing to do would be connect to the internet. Um, but first we're gonna talk about the ports. So, <clears throat> we've got uh, two USBs here that could be used for a USB flash drive if you want. Uh, there's a USB here that'll go to the slot in PC that I'll show you in a second. IR port there. CO2 sensors in the panel built in. This is your NFC card reader. You've got uh, the power button. You've got the home button, the return button, brightness, sound down, sound up. You've got the built-in front-facing 2x16 watt sound bar with high and low fidelity on it. This is an award-winning design. Uh, it also has the pen tray here, which is angled to hold the pens. These pens are passive pens, which means there's no battery needed. They do have an NFC reader on the back, so you can, you can open the easier right with it. You'll see a small and a big tip. That's because we have a new fine IR technology in our panel, which will let you get down to one millimeter on both the distance from the panel and the size of the dot that you can make. Noise canceling mics on either side here so you can record uh, lessons, do, do lesson capture. Um, if we come around here to the side, you'll see we have an HDMI out so you can uh, go HDMI out to your existing projector so you don't have to throw away your existing technology or it can go to another panel and we can pair them together and they can annotate back and forth. Uh, we've got a mic in and a mic out, so if you want to have an uh, external uh, sound enhancer, you can do that for sound enhancement or, uh, you know, sound coming in with your VGA. Um, and then we've got an RS-232, which is for control. Uh, that'll work with Extron, Crestron, AMX. If we go down, oh, the slot PC is here, it's industry standard uh, slot OPS. And that'll, you can put Windows on it, Android, that'll kind of future-proof your panel for the, or if you want to be running Windows on the panel, you can do that as well in load programs. Um, down here, you've got two USBs for touch, two HDMIs, and you'll see there's a section there. So if you put the USB for touch here and the HDMI for touch, they need to be in the same one. Don't put touch here and HDMI there or they won't work. You've got a display port in there. Um, you've got a LAN connection, which we're gonna use. You've got two USBs there. Um, so the LAN connection, I'm gonna go ahead and put this in to get us in. That's in. The other thing is you can get one of these USB wireless cards and that can go. There's a screw, you take that screw out and you can put this wireless card in there. So nobody will see it. And the other, and one of these USBs you can also use for the remote control since it's a Bluetooth. The remote and the Bluetooth match up. So don't just throw all your remotes together and then randomly pair them with the panels. They're gonna be paired with the, the remote and the USB don't have to be paired together. Um, so that's, you know, power is over here, obviously. And the uh, connection there for the, uh, the power and that's the higher power button. So you probably don't have to use that very often. All right, so now that we're connected to the internet, the first thing you do is you just follow the instructions on the screen. Pick language, we're gonna keep it English. Uh, set time automatically. The date today is the 25th. And let's see. Set the time here. Do you know what time it is, Collins? Okay, let's just do something like this. Uh, the time zone, to pick the time zone, and that's important because when you do the X sign signage, you have to be in the same time zones. We've got Eastern Central Daylight, we'll just pick that. Central Daylight Time, we've got the date correct. So I'm gonna set it automatically. So it's 7.36 p.m. on Friday night. That's the new COVID thing. All right, so now we are wired here. 
Okay, so hopefully it finds my, I'm going dynamic on this, not static. Network, here's where you set up the Wi-Fi. So you go here, right now I have hardwired, but I also have the Wi-Fi card, so you'll be able to see all the networks. And I'm not gonna log it in because I don't wanna give out my Wi-Fi password, but uh, there's all my neighbors' access points, there's mine. So I'm gonna you know, put my password there, but that's how you sign up for the Wi-Fi, what we have at Hardwired. Also, internet, um, network, if I go to Ethernet, I, I can also uh, put the Ethernet back on. And now I can uh, go static or dynamic. And I can put it in, in, in the password there. Yeah, let's see. Read these instructions. Confirm that you've read them. Hit next. Your device is set up, press finish to do the setup wizard. And now we're connected to the panel. Now the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is set up the IAMS uh, as the administrator and that's secret information that we don't want our competitors to get. So include your email, preferably a school or university email in the comments and I'll send you the, the video offline or email build.bilkey at benq.com and I'll send you the setup instructions on IAMS AMS, Xsign, DMS, because um, those are all kind of private. Next, I'll go into doing a demo on the next video, and, and you should like that.